Welcome back to Isha Gaming. So what have I really been doing with my new PlayStation 5? It is not what you would expect. I have gone into a big rabbit hole right now on my PlayStation 5 and it is exciting times. Now initially I have been unmotivated, not playing many games lately. For two weeks straight I have only played Skyrim and this is where the story starts. I started playing Skyrim again on my old PlayStation file. I have Skyrim on PlayStation 4 and if you have Skyrim on PlayStation 4 and you have a PlayStation 5 you get the free version of Skyrim PlayStation 5. It's higher resolution textures and 4K support and 60 frames per second support. Just a better experience and the loading screens are instant almost on the PS5 version of Skyrim. But I haven't been playing that because <laughs> I continued my PS4 version of Skyrim on my PlayStation 5. I know this is confusing, but hear me out. I was thinking to myself, how close am I to getting a platinum on Skyrim? I believe I only have a few trophies left until I have the platinum trophy of Skyrim. And it turns out I only had to complete the companion's quest line, get the thieves guild to former glory. Always a pleasure, boss. What could I do for you? and get the 15 Daedric artifacts. And then I would be sat having my Skyrim Platinum. So I did that. And the reason I've been going back to Skyrim, I talked about that on the podcast because things has happened recently in my life, making me go back to this wonderful game, which is such a comfort to me in times that are not very good. So Skyrim is such a fantastic and welcoming world to go back to when I need a sweet release of sorts. Skyrim it is. So I got the PlayStation 4 version of Skyrim Platinum Trophy, but this is crazy times, okay? PlayStation 5 version of Skyrim is a separate list of trophies. So now I am building my way up there also to get double platinum on Skyrim. I like it and it is providing me the fun that I'm looking for in a game. I know I have been playing Skyrim for more than thousand hours across all of my systems and save files across the entire... Um, all the places that I have played Skyrim. And I went into the menus to have a look which save file have I gone furthest into, so to speak. Well, it turns out I have done the most quests on my Nintendo Switch version of Skyrim, which I find to be a very cozy time to play Skyrim on the Switch, in bed, on the go. It's such a nice thing, but I have to say, PlayStation is just better. There are platinum trophies to collect on PlayStation, but not on Nintendo. Nintendo has never had any achievement system, trophy system. I am so missing it. Right now, I am in this time where I find trophy hunting very exciting and addicting. What the hell? And Nintendo does just simply not feed my addiction for this addiction that I'm having right now. I mean, even Xbox has achievements. Why cannot Nintendo also get something similar? Oftentimes, guys, when it comes to trophy hunting on the PlayStation or Xbox or even Steam PC, it is sometimes, and I'm sure you're gonna agree with me, it's sometimes motivating me into going into an older game that I haven't been going back to in quite some time. It keeps me coming back to older games, which has happened now. I fired up Yonder because I have Yonder on on PS4 and on Switch. I completed the Switch version of Yonder, but I hadn't on the PS4 version of Yonder, and now I'm collecting trophies in that. I want a platinum trophy Yonder on PS4. <laughs> And also Persona 5 Striker. Remember I said I have that on Switch? Well, guess what? It was free on PlayStation Plus mm, some months ago, I think. And now I am playing it on my PlayStation instead of playing it on my Nintendo Switch because of the addiction that I have now with trophy hunting. So that is what I'm really doing with my PlayStation 5 right now. Dipping back into my backlog, my PS4 games backlog to check and see which trophies are easy to acquire and I'll like yeah so much fun so much fun and right now i am so close on platinum on death and request 2 only missing two trophies in this thing 
Death and Request 2, really cute game. Easy Platinum, actually. I think I have spent 35 hours and I am close to the Platinum Trophy. So I'm guessing under 40 hours to get the Platinum Trophy on that game. I mean, are you guys trophy hunters? <laughs> I have now become one. I have officially become one. I have never really been into collecting trophies. It, for all the years that I've been playing PlayStation, it's always just something that's, oh, that's neat. It pops up in the corner, that's cool and that's sweet. But now it's like, it's a feature. It's a gameplay feature for me right now to try and unlock as many trophies as possible. Keeping my mind occupied. And it's such a sweet release right now. I'm also really close on getting the Platinum Trophy on Destiny 2 and I talked with my friend Katrina Beata and she said she's gonna help me with the last trophy there because I need her help and then I will be having another Platinum Trophy. Now that was very nerdy of me but I am just being honest with you guys. So I'm really enjoying trophy hunting. Being old's not so bad. Daughter keeps me fed and my working days are done. Men are all alike, from Skyrim to Hammerfell. They care only for war and politics and treat- Yes? Other than that, I am playing a new PlayStation 5 game. This is Kina Bridge of Spirits. Thank you so much, Trace Layton, for sending this over. A subscriber of the channel sent this over to me. My post box is always open for you guys if you want to push a game onto me. It's uh, Isha Gaming post box 1994-81 Hashto Norway. I check it every week. So I was very surprised that you decided to send this game to me. And I have now been checking it out. This is a very beautiful game. It has a big map, but the map in itself has a linear feeling. You also have fast traveling points the further you get up on the map. This is a game that has light puzzles and light combat, I guess. It is a 2021 action adventure game by Ember Lab, and you play as Kina, the spirit guide, who helps spirits cross over. This game is out on PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, and PC. I recommend it on the PlayStation 5, looking so crisp, so good. With this game, I am seeing the next gen-ness with the graphics. This game even won the best independent game award. So it is an award winning game. Maybe I will even get a platinum on this game also now that I, that is the way that I'm doing things right now. It's a very cozy game. Thank you so much for Kina. Now I have some frequently asked questions for me. And that is, are you planning on getting the Steam Deck Isha? I want the Steam Deck, but it is not currently out in Norway. It's not available for us, unless I want to pay uh, shipping VAT and customs in order to get it across the borders. I don't know if that is even possible, but I would definitely love to get a Steam Deck, because then I could <laughs> achievement hunt through my Steam account on the Steam Deck on the go. But you know what? Actually, I would much more prefer to see a handheld PlayStation system dropping. I am so hungry for a new PlayStation system that is handheld. Imagine being on the go and collecting trophies, which is my new thing. The Vita is cute and fine and all of that, but I want the new one. It's been 10 years or more that the Vita has been out. I know it's, it's probably not gonna happen, but I would love to get a handheld PlayStation system. Please, guys. Meanwhile, yes, I am planning on picking up the Steam Deck, but it's not gonna happen anytime soon, I feel like. Maybe not, I don't know. We will see. Another question that I have gotten very much now into my inbox is, are you gonna play Harvest Ella, the new game that has been announced, I guess, by Square Enix? And yes, of course, because it very much looks like Rune Factory 5. <laughs> and yeah, that looks like a game that I would enjoy. Definitely, I mean, look at it. So the answer to that is yes, I will play it. And I will talk about it when the time comes. And the last question is, are you going to review Fire Emblem Warriors Three Hopes? Yeah, I am. I got my review copy yesterday, so it will come when I'm ready. 
you know I'm very picky with my reviews. I want them to be very detailed, so I'm taking my time. It's going to come. I feel like I'm a broken record. I always say a lot. It's going to come, but I'm gonna take my time. I always take my time. You know what? None of my videos are quick productions. None of them are. They take a long time to make, believe it or not. And I'm very proud of my channel and the videos that I'm making. Otherwise it wouldn't be worth it. If I wouldn't be proud of what I'm creating on this YouTube channel, it wouldn't be worth it. I create the videos that I would like to see for myself, I guess, if that makes sense. Whatever. Okay, I want to hear which platinum trophies on the PlayStation, or any other achievement for that matter, are the easiest ones that you have acquired, and the hardest ones that you have acquired. Leave a comment down below about that. Now please hit like, even though you are on the TV right now. <laughs> I'm just assuming that you're watching YouTube on TV. I do. You can hit like even if you are on TV. Now I want you guys to listen to Disky Disk and I have gotten new kittens. And just a bunch of personal stories and stuff are, for the most part, dropped on the podcast. Have fun with that. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and I will see you later.